I'm gonna try to follow the cairns down because I definitely did not come up the right way. The way that I did come up uh, was sort of a choose your own adventure. Okay, well it's day five and we're heading back to the Moon Bells parking area with the goal of trying to summit Pyramid Peak. Now I, I hesitate when I say that because Pyramid Peak is considered by many as one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult 14er of the 58. And uh, I recognize that. <laughs> so we're gonna start the climb. We're gonna go uh, up to the sort of amphitheater area of the climb and assess. And then if we can get up to the saddle at 13,000, that's when all the tricky stuff starts. And so we'll see how it looks when we get there, if we get there. And we'll decide what we want to do. If I'm not feeling it, if I have any hesitation for my safety or just my, my head's not in it, live to fight another day, you know? All right, well, let's get to it. All right, checking in on this beautiful morning. We've already come up quite a ways from the lake, maybe about a thousand feet. And we are just coming up this scree field. And you can see there's, we're heading up towards those sub peaks up there. And uh, eventually we'll enter what's called the amphitheater, which is sort of this big cirque bowl. Well, it looks like we gotta go across a qu quite a bit of snow here. So it looks pretty stable and it's not very steep. So I should be fine with the poles. So we're going all the way up the snow field into the upper, upper basin. There's the summit right there. Came up from the amphitheater and I'm climbing up to the high saddle and uh, it's steep, but so far so good. It's just steep. It's not overly technical or high exposure, but it's just slippy because it's so steep. It's nice and loose. But like I said, I'm doing good. But then again, I wasn't expecting to run into anything all that bad until we get to the saddle. That's where the class four stuff starts. I'm a little nervous about the clouds, but so far they seem to be pretty like wispy and light, not cumulus. Made it to the high saddle at 13. And that's what's left. And we gotta go. All right, well, we have the infamous ledge section coming up right there. It gets very narrow, precipitous. Let's go take a look. We gotta get over there first. Oh, I just banged my head. Guess this is why we wear helmets. Now, from what I remember, there's a step we have to do first. A gap right here. Yeah, that's certainly a gap. We're gonna just jump it. All right, and here comes the ledge. Well, shoot, that is definitely sketchy. Okay, okay, okay. That was a little scary. A little bit of exposure right there. Huh. Not looking forward to going back over that. It's a good view of it. Yeah, that's pretty sketch. 
one of the most difficult sections in the bag. I would say my stress level is, you know, at a solid three out of five and uh, starting to get a little anxious. I don't like exposure. Do not like it. Okay, well the exposure part back there is done, the cliff. Uh, but now we have what is probably actually the crux of the route. And that's this, quote, green rock, green rock wall. And it is class three, class four, um, hard climbing all the way up. So we're definitely in for some work here. This is why I put the poles away. Yeah, this is, this is nasty. I'd like to get over there, but okay, very carefully, very slowly and with purpose. a climb the whole way it honestly doesn't look horrific it's steep but it's grippy and there's lots of places to to move this is legit climbing my friends might be a little loose. Okay, we made it up the green wall and I found the cairns. We are nearly there. If we can get up this. Yeah. Well, my friends, that was epic. Oh, this one was hard earned. Yes, it was. We did it. Oh, that feels good to sit. What a view. So let's see what we got out here that we can identify. The bells, whoa, that is that is a steep drop off right there. I, so I was right there yesterday, straight across on the right peak, nasty. And then there's all I got left, Snowmass Capital, the two beasts, gnarly. I am definitely, quite nervous about going down this mountain. Okay, heading down one step at a time. We're gonna keep checking our map, make sure we're on course, on route, and uh, just very slow. 
Wow, that was a tough one. It's not over yet. We still gotta go down it, but good God. I can see why. That is absolutely a class four. I'm gonna try to follow the cairns down because I definitely did not come up the right way. The way that I did come up uh, was sort of a choose your own adventure. I lost the route, so I'm gonna try and stick to the cairns here. Hopefully it means that the route is a little bit easier if I go the way it's actually marked. Still on Cairns. Okay, so my GoPro died, but I wanted to make this video because I'm back on established trail headed down to the lakes. I made it through all the nasty stuff. It was sketchy, it was slow. I took my time. I had a couple of near falls, but I didn't fall. I didn't have any issues. And I'm just really happy to be descending on an actual trail. It had it all. It had class four, it had exposure, it had gaps you had to jump across it had ledges uh it had it just technical um snow i mean it, it was just it was the full range of of everything so i'm on trail that's that's what i'm glad about right now so the mountain pyramid peak what do i think what advice might i have for some of you also thinking about doing it well Here's what I would tell you about Pyramid Peak. I've done 56 of the 58 14ers now. And uh, I think I can confidently say right now that of all 56 peaks, Pyramid Peak was the absolute most challenging so far. And I'm, I'm careful with my words there. I say the most challenging because I don't necessarily think it was the most technical, although, maybe it was um, and I definitely don't think it was the one that made me the most scared I think Cresto Needle I was more scared uh, and I, I don't think it had the worst exposure but it had really bad exposure it was very technical and it definitely made me feel scared to some extent so I think the whole package uh, everything combined makes it just an incredibly challenging route and, and, and uh, 14er to summit. You've got snow, you've got wobbly rocks, you've got boulder fields, you've got steep scree, you've got class four shoots and all sorts of crazy stuff that you got to go through. It's just, it's got everything. So it's very fun. It's very challenging and rewarding, but it, it is, it is hard. It just, it taxes every part of your mental and physical uh, well-being. So know that if you're thinking about doing Pyramid and you've looked it up on 14ers and you're like, ah, it doesn't sound so bad. I'll go knock that out this weekend. You know, don't, don't just do it to check it off your list. Know what you're getting into and I would highly recommend doing some uh, other class fours first or doing some other at least high class threes first. You know, do Wilson Peak, do uh, Sneffels. You know, some of these ones that are that are tough. 
get some experience, you know, do Presto, and do, do we even do the Maroon Bells. Uh, I think they're really tough, but I think Pyramid's tougher. So, yeah, that's my assessment. Uh, so far, I would put it number one as the most challenging. But anyway, what's the plan for this evening? Man, I am beat. I can't wait to get back to Leadville. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop at the little like uh, brick oven pizza place. It's got amazing pizza. They have like the best pizza. And I'm gonna order an entire pizza for myself because I'm famished. It sounds delicious. Oh, I can't wait to have. I can't wait.